Okay, so we're looking at a revision uh, video for the topic of coordinate geometry, which is the equations of straight lines. We're not doing distance midpoint and gradient, although gradient does come up. So the first question is just uh, drawing a straight line using a table of values. Um, so I've set up a table, use any numbers you like, and then when you're ready, uh, do it. Okay, have a go now. Okay, so normally the numbers you use are nice, easy numbers. Use three points because you might make a mistake. Okay, so when you put x uh, equals zero in that position there, you just note with minus four. And then when you put x equals one, three times one is three. Three minus four is minus one. And then when you put two there, three times two is six. Six minus four is two. So I've just made a substitution. So one, two, I've just got only zero, one, two. And minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Okay, so the first point, 0 minus 4, change the mid, uh, green, I oh know, let's try this colour. So that's that, 0 minus 4, 1 minus 1, I need some points going up now. So 1, 2, and that last point, um, 2, 2, and if you've done a good job, you should get, you know, it's not too bad. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit out, okay? So you should get a straight line. Um, I'm just a little bit out with my scale, okay? Um, don't forget, you need to label your axes Y and X. Let's move on. Okay, so uh, you've got straight lines. You know they're straight lines because the highest power is a one. So these are, um, these are all straight lines. Um, so have a go, find the gradient and find the y-intercept. Pause and then come back when you're ready. Okay, so the gradient is three, it's the coefficient, and the y-intercept is the number, the independent term. Okay, so the coefficient of x is the gradient and the y-intercept is the constant term. Okay, in the second one, okay, the gradient is minus one and the y-intercept is four. Oh, you can call that b as well or C, some, text, some teachers, some textbooks use the letter C, so I use B, but you could put C or B or Y-intercept. Now in the last one, okay, you do have an X, you've got none of them, so the last one, the gradient is zero, and the Y-intercept is minus one. Okay, so that's gonna be a horizontal line. Okay, come across when you're ready. Okay, so this next one is uh, writing down the equations for the straight line. So, got to remember that all straight lines can be written in the form of y equals mx plus b or y equals mx plus c. So that's what you have to end up with. Um, and if you need to, check your notes, but that's all you need at this stage. Okay, so hopefully you're back. Now, the gradient is the rise over the run. You need to know that. So. Uh, from 0 to 2 is a run of 2, from 3 to 5 is a rise of 2, and it's heading to the right, so it's a positive gradient. So the rise of the run is 2 over 2x, and going through the y-intercept is 3, so that's plus 3, and then 2 over 2 is just 1. Okay, so the y-intercept is the easiest thing to do. Okay, in the second one, there's our triangle, the rise is five and the run is two. It's heading to the left, so the gradient is negative. So the gradient is minus five over two. The y-intercept is five. And so the answer is minus five over two x plus five. So the first one is x plus three. Like the easiest thing to do is the y-intercept. Okay, that's the number. Okay, so in this next one, the y-intercept is, oh sorry, that's zero. The y-intercept is minus three. The gradient is zero, there's, there's, no, there's no slope, there's no gradient. B is minus three, and so the answer is y equals minus three. So it's just a horizontal line. Okay, and the last one, uh, not that it's a trick, but it's the only line that doesn't have a y equals. It's a vertical line. Um, it's going through x equals 4, so the answer is x equals 4. So that's the only straight line that doesn't have a y equals the vertical line. So if it was over here at minus 2, then x would be minus 2. 
Okay, if this one here had been at 5, then y equals 5. Okay, moving across to the next part. Okay, so now we're going to do some sketching. Uh, three lines to sketch. Um, pause, and when you're ready, come back. Okay, so the y-intercept is 1. It's a positive gradient, which means that the line is going to go up to the right because it's a positive gradient. So we're looking to find this x-intercept here. So the x-intercept is when y equals 0. So the x-intercept is an x number, but y equals 0. So we just make 0 equal to 3x plus 1. So 3x equals minus 1 because the plus 1 comes across. And to finish it off, divide by 3. I'll divide by 3 there. So that number is minus 1 third. Okay. Okay, the next one, uh, y-intercept is 6, which is up there. Uh, this time the line is sloping this way because the gradient is negative. Okay, so we've got to find that value there. So the x-intercept, when y equals 0, 0 equals minus 2x plus 6. Now this time, because the x is negative, I'm going to move the x across, not move the number. So I've got 2x equals 6 and divide by 2, so x equals 3. Okay, and the last one, we've got no, we've got no gradient, so we've just got a straight, a flat line, so it's y equals 5. Okay, there's no gradient, so it's a flat line, y equals 5. Okay, uh, now we're up to finding equations of straight lines, so there's some easy ones and some harder ones, so when you're ready, you need to check your notes, but otherwise just keep moving on. Okay, so all straight lines end up y equals mx plus b, okay, or y equals mx plus c. So the first one, y equals 2x plus 3, and that's the answer. The gradient goes in front, and the y-intercept goes at the back. It's the term independent. Now the next one, uh, I'll show you two ways of doing it. You've got two ways. One's a formula, and I'll this is the easier way, but if you don't like formulas, then don't do it this way. So uh, that's x1, that's y1. So we've got y minus minus 4 equals minus 2x minus 3. We've got two minuses, which makes a plus. So we've got y plus 4 equals minus 2x. Two minuses make a plus again. And then the 4 comes backwards. So we get minus 2x plus 6 take 4, which is minus 2x plus 2. And that's your answer. The other way of doing it is just to use y equals mx plus b. And you don't know what b is. So y equals minus 4, m equals minus 2, x equals 3 plus b. So minus 4 equals minus 6 plus b. And then minus 6 goes across. So minus 4 plus 6 equals 2. And so you get the same answer, minus 2x plus 2. It's the same answer, same question. OK. Now, this next one here, like depend, I'll just go through. Like parallel just means that the gradients are the same. OK, so that's the gradient. So if it's parallel, it's m equals 2. Okay, so have a go at that one and the second one, which is passing through two points. Okay, so we're passing, we're parallel, so the gradient is 2. We're passing through the origin, so that means that the y-intercept is 0, because if we're passing through the origin, the y-intercept is 0. So the answer is y equals 2x. And that's it. Okay, next one. Um, what I suggest is just do a sketch to start with, so 4, 1 is about there, minus 1, 6 is about there, so we're going to draw a triangle, okay, and the rise, it's going from 1 to 6, so the rise is 5, it's going from minus 1 to 4, so the run is 4, but because the gradient is going to the, the right line is going to the left, the gradient is negative, so the gradient equals minus rise over run, which is minus 1. Um, we're looking to find the y intercept next, 
so we've got y equals mx plus b so doesn't matter which point so we'll use that point so 1 equals minus 1 times 4 plus b 1 equals minus 4 plus b minus 4 goes back so b equals 1 plus 4 equals 5 so the answer is y equals minus 1x plus 5 which is the same as minus x plus 5 now that's one way of doing it and the other way of doing it is to use the formula y minus y1 over y2 minus y1 equals x minus x oh no I got yep no just made a mistake there sorry my mistake y minus y1 over x minus x1 equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay so there's the formula um, and you get the same answer okay right so next one is finding x intercepts again uh, we've done that earlier so we're just doing some more practice on that so when you're ready come back okay so the x intercept is when y equals 0 so 0 equals 3x minus 5 minus 5 goes back so 3x equals plus 5 so x equals 5 thirds okay next one x intercept y equals 0 so this one's easier because if y equals 0 then 4y equals 0 so 2x equals 6 so x equals 3 so that one's actually easier than the first one right now cut let go second second last one okay so word question so the distance you are from your home is given by a formula um, where d is the distance in kilometers t is in hours okay so have a go how far are, how far how far are you away from home after two hours when will you be 16 kilometers kilometers away from home so just rearranging the formula or substituting okay so in the first one distance equals 10 plus 0.5 times 2 equals 10 that's a plus sign silly 10 plus so equals 10 plus 1 equals 11 kilometers so after two hours you're 11 kilometers away in the next one you're told the distance and you don't know so time you don't know but you know the distance so 16 equals 10 plus 0.5 t so take the 16 away so 0.5 t equals 16 minus 10 0.5 t equals 6 and to get rid of the coefficient you divide so that gives you 12 so it's going to take you 12 hours to be away 16 kilometers so you're going pretty slowly and I think there's one more question no that's it so hopefully you enjoyed that